If you've been working in WordPress for a while, then you may have noticed a new way of dealing with your widget. This is the new Gutenberg widget area. It offers a lot of the same functionality as the classic widget area. Plus it gives you a little bit more control over your widgets on your website. But for some people, they're not quite ready for this change and they just want the classic widget editor back. So in this video, I'll show you how you can do that. We'll cover two different methods so you can pick the one that works best for you. The first method is by installing a plugin and this is called the classic widgets plugin. To do that, we'll just head over to plugins, add new, and we want to search for classic widgets. This is the one we want. So let's go ahead and install it and then we'll stick around to activate the plugin as well. Once it's activated, we can head back over to appearance widgets and we see the way that we're used to it a simple way to add everything from here you can delete items you can find the widget that you want to add and left click drag it where you want it to go now if you don't want to install a plugin then another method that you can use is by installing or adding a bit of code to your functions.php page make sure that you back up your website and make sure that you're comfortable with doing this so i'll remove the classic widget plugin now that that's done, we can go to appearance, theme file editor, and just say you understand that you're going to be making changes and you are comfortable with doing this and you've also backed up your website. So we go to functions and we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to go to on, on a new page or a new line and I'm going to paste this bit and we'll have a link to the written tutorial where you can grab this bit of code. But basically, it's just a quick function that remove the theme support for the widgets block editor. When we update this, I've removed the other plugin. So now when we go to our widgets area, again, we're back to the classic. And anytime you want to go back to the Gutenberg widget block editor, then you can do that. Remove that bit of code. If you change themes, you'll have to put that in the new theme functions file or again, add the plugin. If you want to get a little bit more comfortable with Gutenberg, then watch this video next as I will walk you through step-by-step -step on how to use the Gutenberg blog editor for your website. And I'll see you over there.